Hello, Master Gary Hernandez here. And today I wanted to talk about using the horn slash crook of your cane. Okay, so we're gonna use the outside and the inside. <clears throat> now, a lot of people use the cane for long range striking, and that's good. A lot of people use it for thrusting, and that's good. With the horn and the crook, you can do a lot also. <clears throat> Number one, for striking, it gives you a wider radius, bigger area for striking into the throat, into the body. <clears throat> you also have a nice solid area for striking into the head and into the body, as well as striking the leg. <clears throat> you can also use your horn, obviously, for hooking, pulling them in, giving them a knee, bringing them in, giving them an elbow. If they've got you in a bear hug and you got your cane, you can bring it down, break through. You can use it for hooking the legs and pulling. So it's a great part of your cane to use because you have two functions with it. Besides striking, you can also hook and pull. You can also get somebody off of somebody. Let's say I had Bob turned around. And he's attacking a friend of mine. And let's say I just don't want to smash him upside the head because I might kill him or something. I can also hook him around the throat and pull him backwards. I can hook him on the shoulder and pull them backwards. So I can do a lot with that. And if I have a good, nice, sharp pointy area here on the horn, I can dig it into them more as well. So those are some of the things you can do with it. Again, is, you know, instead of trying to pull, especially if I'm injured or if I have, or if I'm a lot older and I have a lot of arthritis or if I'm a really petite female or even a, a you know, unfortunately a younger weaker person and I'm trying to pull them off they may elbow me or something and again I can simply hook and yank and yank them back they're not going to be too happy <clears throat> but the job's going to get done you know so also you turn Bob back around you know I can also smack into them pull them forward as well so the horn has a lot you can do with the horn. You know, again, I can move arms around. I can hook legs, move them around. Top part of the crook goes into the throat, face, body, because it has a wider area for me to strike with because the crook and the horn, nice and round here. I can use it like a hammer, smacking down on the collarbone the head, face, solar plexus, stomach, leg. So I have a wider area for striking. So there's a lot you can do with this. So if you're only working on long range strikes, or you're working on bayonet strikes, flip it over and start working that crook for striking, for hitting. Start working that horn for hooking. Pulling them down, sweeping the leg, coming behind, pulling them off of somebody. So start working those techniques. Use the entire cane. You know, we've already talked about using the tip area. We talked about using the middle part of the cane for rifle strikes. We used it for bayonet strikes. We use it for long range striking on the head and then the uh, collarbone and the body. Well, we also have the horn for pulling, grabbing, yanking down, crook part, or striking long range, or striking in close. So use that cane. If you're not working this part of that cane, you really need to get familiar with the entire part of that cane. It's going to help you in the long run. So, and if you saw the video, um, I think uh, 
either the last one or the one before that, I discussed make sure you're unhooking them as well. So I would definitely watch that video and then start and watch this one obviously and work work both of them. So hopefully that helps. I'm Gary Hernandez and thank you.